five minutes on frailty with Professor Heather Keller. Presented by Canadian Frailty Network. What is frailty? Frailty is a medical condition of reduced function and health in older adults. The risk of becoming frail increases with age, but the two are not the same. When you are frail, your body does not have the ability to cope with minor illnesses that would normally have little impact if you were healthy. Minor stressors, like the flu or a fall, may cause a rapid decline in your health that can lead to hospitalization, admission to long-term care, or death. How are nutrition and frailty related? Nutrition and frailty are very related. For example, someone who might be losing weight and that leading to obviously malnutrition could then impact their other activities of daily living and lead to frailty. On the flip side, a person who might be more frail might have, might have challenges with grocery shopping or cooking at home and that could lead to poor food intake and then malnutrition. So malnutrition and frailty are very closely linked and often seen in the same individuals. What important changes can those living with frailty make to improve their diet? So individuals that are living with frailty, it's really important to pay attention to getting food into the home and making sure that it's uh, um, cooked in a way that a person can eat. So trying to figure out those ways and making it easier to get quality food into the home and food that people want to eat. The other key thing we know from research is that when people eat with others, they eat more and they often eat better. And so thinking about the social side of eating and eating with others, even if it's not in person, perhaps just with an iPad and chatting over dinner together, is a way to support food intake and appetite. What signs or symptoms should family caregivers or older adults watch for that may indicate malnutrition? So some key signs for malnutrition are poor food intake specifically. So if you know that the person that you're caring for or involved with, you can see that their fridge still has food in it from when you purchased groceries the last week, that would be a key indication that something is not right and they're not consuming the food that they have. That's the first indication. Secondly, you can look for signs like weight loss. And so persons who are becoming malnourished often will lose a significant amount of weight, even over a few months. And so watch for that. Third sign I would suggest would be looking for exhaustion, quite frankly. Older adults that are frail and malnourished just don't have capacity to do the things they might have done in the past. They might get tired easily, need to sleep more, have a harder time um, participating in usual activities. Those would be indications to me that there might be malnutrition as well as frailty. What are you doing right now to improve care for older adults living with frailty? So some of the research I'm doing right now is involving older adults who might be pre-frail or frail and getting them involved in exercise as well as nutrition education and counseling to support their food intake. The other key area that I'm working in is with older adults who might be in hospital and trying to figure out if they're malnourished and making sure they get the care they need in hospital, but also when they leave the hospital, connecting them to their primary care providers so that they can be followed. We're trying to also do some work with primary care providers in the community to make sure they recognize malnutrition and frailty when it exists. For example, nutrition risk screening. What can an older adult do right now to reduce their risk of frailty? So there's two things you can do to support your nutrition and prevent frailty. We know specifically a high quality diet. So what do I mean by that? I mean a diet that's based on whole foods, that has lots of vitamins and minerals, is key to supporting health and specifically preventing frailty. The second key thing that a person can do is make sure they consume enough protein in their diet. We know right now that people that are older often need to eat more protein than they are. As you age, you actually need more protein to keep the muscle you have. So eating protein at every meal, a high biological value protein we'll call it, so that's usually things like animal-based proteins or soy, at every meal and every snack will support uh, protein intake and ensure that muscle mass is retained. 
To learn more, visit www.avoidfrailty.ca.